is The Chris Abraham Show. Good morning. This is Chris Abraham, the Chris Abraham Show, season five, episode, season five, episode 39. And coincidentally, I received my really cheap 70 something dollars on sale, blacked out Nike Pegasus 39s in size 14 because I can't fool myself. My feet aren't happy in size 13s anymore. So I'm size 14 Nike Pegasus. I was realizing that I could walk in Nike size 13 Pegasus, but I couldn't run in them because when you run, your feet swell. And that is no bueno. So here I am walking again today, probably saying something garbagey, except the fact that um, I think today is National Hamburger Day, maybe. And, um, that's good. So I will have hamburgers today, but without the buns. And I'm off to get my espresso and water from Starbucks. And to get some sun now, because today's uh, officially a heat stroke warning day. That Alexa just told me, so keep hydrated, get electrolytes, stay out of the sun, um, and all that fun stuff. Try to find air conditioning if you're in the day MV. Um, I just tweeted something that might be controversial if anybody cared, but nobody cares about anything I say. And I was listening to the Glenn Beck program, like out of nowhere, just during my shower, I said, Alexa, play the latest episode of the Glenn Beck show. And he was talking, of course, about climate change. And I went on a Twitter and all my other social media platforms and I said, remember when we worshipped Ra? Remember when we worshipped the sun? And the pharaohs told us that if we did not appease them and give them all our money or give them all our wealth, give, give, give to the pharaohs of our grain and of our calves and of our lambs and of our goats, and of our, of our uh, fruits and vegetables, uh, and even of our children. If we didn't do that, if we didn't contribute till it hurts, then there would be pestilence and sickness and hunger and famine and death upon the land. If you don't give your money to the pharaohs, and the pharaohs will appease Ra, the sun god. If you do not do such things, then uh, many people will die. And the blessings upon our land will have ended. And Ra will reward us with sickness and death and famine and hunger and thirst and pestilence and terror. And so I said in the end of the tweet, I'm like, that's totes my goats not totally happening now with climate change. I promise it's totally for real, like no joke. Um, the sun God Ra is not who we think is coming down and destroying the earth and making us warmer and bringing us into sadness and mirth and dejection and rejection and into sin and into famine, into hunger, into death, into heat stroke, into death, into migration, into famine and sickness and turmoil. And if you give, if you give to the pharaohs though, if you give to the pharaohs, 
the world will be better. But if not, the end is nigh. Whether it's 2030 or 2040 or 2050, there will be great collapse. There will be great sadness. There will be gnashing of teeth. There will be rending of sackcloth. Uh, and billions and billions of people will perish under climate. I mean raw. I mean climate. I mean raw. I mean man's awful, awful contribution to the heating of the earth. And when the Western scientist was taken by the cannibal pagans, and he knew from his almanac that that day would be a full eclipse, he told the pagan cannibals, Behold ye, behold ye, God is displeased. God does not favor thee. Upon today, if you do not release us, if you do not release me, God will blot out the sun. God will blot out the sun and taketh away from you that which you worship, that which gives you warmth, that which gives you food. And then... The pagan cannibals were, were scared, but they were confident that there's no way that this man knew the mind of God. And surely this, this, this alien from outer space had no control over the sun. Yet, at 3 p.m. exactly, the sun was blotted out as if upon command, and they did they did release him. And upon release, and the promise of his release, and that he will not be molested, yes, the sun did come out from its hiding for when God released. When the pagan, sun-worshipping cannibals, when they doth released this man, and promised him safe passage forever. The sun then returned within minutes as though beckoned by the man who thus called out to the sun and said, God, they know not what they do. I will release the sun back to these humble people and give them the warmth and nutrients and nutrition that they need. Amen. And so, that parable has nothing to do with the fact that scientists might not, might completely and totally know about the natural process of the earth and the warming of the earth and the changes in, in natural climate and are telling us that if we do not turn away from our sin which is capitalism and consumption, materialism, pollution, internal combustion engine, easy travel, easy convenience, uh, modern convenience, AC, heating, at will, affordable vehicles, modern conveniences. If we don't turn against that, then the sun will be, will be blotted out and is it because the almanac, the almanac, the almanac predicted that? Or is it because, in fact, the wrathful and fickle God of the sun, who isn't a blind watchmaker, but is in fact paying attention to... Um, colonialists, imperialists, as they enter into quote-unquote pagan cannibalistic villages, is he paying deep attention or did the adventurer, the scientist, did he in fact just have information that the primitives didn't 
have. Anyway, I am lucky because I actually got out here before we, all the construction was going. So, I think things are... Hi, good morning. <laughs> I think things are going well for this. And after that show, totally unplanned after that crazy show, I have to admit that I'm not going to park run tomorrow. One of my clients has a meeting scheduled for 10 or 11 a.m. tomorrow, Eastern time. So I will have to beg off. So this morning, I feel like I'm a total flake now, man. I had to give up my volunteer position with only like 24 hours advance notice. So I feel like that puts the, uh, the smite on me and I wish that weren't the case. So I'm very sad about it. I hope this is not a weekly meeting. I hope I'm not beholden to them every Saturday because then I'm going to have to fire them because I want to do park run more than I want that particular client. Anyway, I am approaching Shea Starbucks and they have sustenance for me and they have caffeine. They have drogas para mi, por yo. And I love you, and I'll talk to you soon. Mahalo. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to The Chris Abraham Show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Until next time.